Hi, in this problem we're going to work out this integral. So this is from a really old book called Integral Calculus and it's from 1915 and it was written by H.B. Phillips. And this is just one of the exercises uh, in the book. So I haven't done this problem yet, so we have to integrate e to the x over a plus e to the negative x over a with respect to x. And it's a definite integral, so we're going from 0 to a ln 2. It doesn't say what a is. I'm assuming a is not 0, and it's some type of constant. So let's go ahead and work this out. So we'll start by making, um, breaking it up into two integrals and then making two substitutions. So we have 0 a ln 2 e to the x over a dx plus, and the reason I'm breaking it up is because I just noticed this is x over a, this is negative x over a, so you're going to need two substitutions. So 0 to a ln 2. And you could probably do it all in your head, like you could probably like work it out. It's really not that hard, um, but I'll go ahead and show the work and make the substitutions because we're, go we're also going to change the limits of integration. So whenever you make a u substitution, you should also change the limits. So u is equal to x over a. And you can think of this as 1 over a times x. It might make the differentiation process easier. So then du is equal to, well, the derivative of x is 1. So here you get 1 over a dx. There's no a here in the integrand. So what I'll do now is multiply by a here, multiply by a here, boom. a du is equal to dx. And so let's go ahead and make our substitution here. So for this one, it's going to be e to the u, okay, du. And then we're going to have an a here, right? Because dx is a du, and then this part here is u. As for the limits on this one, you do have to use this equation to change the limits. So when x is 0, then u would be 0 over a, so 0. And then when x is a ln 2, u would be a ln 2 over a, so simply ln 2. Now let's do this one over here, same thing. I'll use u again, I'll be abusive. And then du is negative 1 over a dx, same thing, right? just the same routine. Multiply by negative a. And then again, we'll make our substitutions. And they're going to be the same, so I'm just going to go ahead and do it. So dx is going to be negative a. And then here we have e to the u. And this is du, because dx is negative a du. And this is our u. And again, oh, it's going to be different. The substitutions are going to be different, because this is a different, um, a different substitution. So we do have to do it. So when x is 0, u is also 0. But when x is uh, a ln 2, in this case, u is going to be negative a ln 2 over a. You see that? And so the a's cancel, so u is negative ln 2. Okay, so this is negative. There's an easier way to do this uh, without substituting. Um, so I'll show you that when I'm done. I'll show you an easier way to do it. We'll do it like a faster way. All right, so we're adding both of these up. So let's go ahead and... Put a plus sign here. So it's this plus this. This one, when you integrate this, you just get e to the u. So it's a e to the u, and we're going from 0 to ln 2. Plus, or rather minus, because there's a minus here. So minus, minus e to the u, that's a 0 here, and we're going from 0 to negative ln 2. So, and there's an a. So now you plug in the ln2 for the u, so you get a e to the ln2 minus a e to the 0. All right, you subtract, you plug in this. So you plug in this one, you subtract, and then you plug in this one. Minus, I'm going to leave the a out, outside this time. This will be e to the negative ln2 minus e to the 0. So e to the ln x is equal to x. That's super useful. So here, this is just 2. So this is going to be a times 2, so 2a minus a 
minus a. This one here is gonna be one half. And the reason is you can write this as e to the ln two to the negative one, but that's really um, e to the ln of one half because uh, there's a negative one here and you can bring it up using the power rule of logs. So this is just gonna be one half minus one. Two a minus a is a and this is minus a, and then one half minus one is negative one half. This is a plus half a, so three halves a. So that should be the answer. I'm gonna show you another way to do it really quick. So let's just do it another way. So I'm gonna show you a better way maybe. So let's try it a different way. See if we get the same answer. So I'm gonna do it um, a faster way. Just to check our answer, because we got when we did it this way, we got three halves a, right? So um, let's see what we get this way. So this other way of doing it is gonna use a trick, which we could use. If you have, let's say, e to the bx, dx, and b is not zero, um, the formula is just e to the bx over b plus a constant. Although we don't include the constants in these problems because um, they're definite integrals. So here, uh, you could think of you could think of this one as e to the one over a times x. So your b is one over a, and then you could think of this one as e to the negative one over a times x. So your b is negative one over a. So basically, all you're doing is dividing. So this will be e to the uh, x over a divided uh, by one over a. But when you divide by one over a, you really multiply by a over one. So you just multiply by a. And we're going from zero to a ln two. And plus e to the negative x over a, and then we're dividing by negative one over a. It's the same thing as multiplying by negative a over one or negative a. And we're going from zero to a ln two. So much faster. Um, this only works though when you can integrate it easily, right? So if it was a harder problem that you couldn't do with some type of special formula, then you would have to rely on the previous solution where you change the limits of integration and, and so on. So we plug in this one first. So I'll leave the a outside. Plug it in for the x. So you get e a ln two over a, okay, minus e to the zero, right? Because when you plug in zero, you get zero. Then minus a. Plugging in this one now, we get e to the minus a ln two over a minus e to the zero, because you plug in zero. It's going kind of fast. This is a, boom. This is gonna be two again, minus one, minus a. This is gonna be e to the e to the negative ln two. We talked about that before. That's gonna, you're gonna bring the negative up and you're gonna get that, which is one half, right? So this will be one half minus one. So this will be a minus a, one half minus one is negative one half. So this is gonna be a uh, plus one half a. So that's three halves a. Cool, and then this is the problem in the book. It's number nine from this super old book from 1915, that's the problem there. So I'm gonna check the answer. This, this book actually has all the answers. I'll leave the link in the description in case you're curious. So this is uh, page 45. And I'm sure it's correct because uh, we did it twice and got the same answer and I don't see any mistakes. But let's check. I love this book because it has all the answers and it's really old. So there it is, three halves, three halves A. So three halves A is the, is the correct answer to that problem. That's what we got. So yeah, hopefully this video has helped someone out there in the world who is doing mathematics. I know this was a little bit long-winded and just woke up. Uh, I thought let me just uh, you know start my day by doing a little problem from Phillips. Good luck.